Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to talk about alarms and um, sounds on your uh, insulin pump and on the Dexcom um, app. So I probably have a different pump than most of you have. Maybe some of you have this pump, but I have the Medtronic 630D and I have the Dexcom. So I'm going to show you first how to do it on the pump. <clears throat> Again, if you don't have this pump, it might be different on your pump. Basically what I do is I go to, so what you do first is you go into this menu, so you click the circle button, and then you see all the options. It says like bolus, enter BG, basal, audio options. So click on audio options, and then go to audio. So you can decide to put it on or off. You may notice how I have mine off, but when you put it on, obviously it makes it sound like it just did and then turn it off. So I have the vibrate on because I don't like to keep the audio on. So um, this is the vibrate. This is turning the vibrate off. So if you put the vibrate off, then the audio will be switched on. But if you put the vibrate on, then the audio will be switched off. See, I have the vibrate right here. So these two can both be on, but you have to have at least one of these on, if that makes sense. So I don't want the audio, so I'm going to switch that off. And then there's the volume. You can change. So if you do have the audio on, you can change how loud this is. So it's either... Let me see. I don't even know. Okay. So, um... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Real quick. Um, oh my god, this is getting annoying. <clears throat> oh, okay. So I figured out how to do it. So, to switch the vol volume lower, you would go like this, with the left, yeah, with the left arrow. To switch it higher, you would go like this with the right arrow, and just keep on switching. To bring it back down, you would just go like this. So I usually keep it on two, because it's like a happy medium in between, but that would be... For the vibrate volume since again i don't keep the audio on but i can't really see what i'm doing because i'm looking at the camera and not at my pump so um all right i'm gonna turn the audio off so that's basically how you deal with alerts on the Medtronic 630G. And the reason I say this is because sometimes it can be annoying wherever you are, if you're at school or if you're at work, and your pump will start randomly buzzing. Like, if there's a sound, like, it, like, it gives, like, these emergency alerts, like, oh, you have, like, 20 units of insulin left if you have it um, on that. Or your battery is low. So rather than having this obnoxious sound, you can just have the vibrate option instead because... I remember in um, elementary school, this was a long time ago, but um, obviously so, um, and I just remembered it because I was kind of embarrassed, but <clears throat> my pump decided to go off in the middle of a class, and this wasn't even like a teacher that I had, I was just in a different class, she was like, um, we were like visiting another uh, classroom or whatever, and the teacher like luckily knew that I had diabetes for some reason. I guess my teacher must have told her, but she was like, oh, this is like, I forget exactly how she explained it, but she was like, oh, like this is just like something like people with, um, like it's like nothing to worry about. So she said she didn't like outwardly say I had type one diabetes, but like she was respectful of it, which was nice, but it was still kind of like, weird i guess like because like there was just random buzzing that went off um and not random buzzing but like a random noise and then as far as my dexcom so <clears throat> what you want to do is so oh my blood is like a little high right now because i just came back from work but whatever so you go to settings right here and then you would go to where it says alerts and then from alerts um so there's always sound if you want it to always make a sound you would switch that on if you don't you would switch that off otherwise it'll just make a sound when you're there's this urgently low option urgent low soon low high um rise rate fall rate signal loss no reading so those are 
alert schedule. So those are the different options that you can schedule for alerts. So the only alerts that I have on right now are for the um, urgent low and the urgent low, the urgent low and the high. So I only keep those on for when I think it's like completely necessary. When my blood is low or high, then it will make a sound. Like this isn't switched on right now because that's for always sound. I have it, there's really, so I have it only when um, my blood is like 55 or like, um, like if it were to go to like 300 or something like that. So that's when it would make a sound. So what you can do is you can actually go into here and you can select when you would like it to alert you for like how low you go. I have it set at 55. You could set it at 60 or something like that if you would like. I have it for low as well. But it doesn't really um, make a sound when I'm low. Only when I'm urgency, urgently low for, um, and if you're low for a while, it starts to make a sound. So, um, yeah, that I have the low set as 70, and I have the high set as 300. Again, you could change that. You could just go into here. So, yeah, that's, um, and then the rise rate and the fall rate and the signal loss, I don't really have. Um, I could, like, if I tend to see that my Dexcom isn't working, I'll assume that there's a signal loss and I'll go in myself. I just don't feel like the need to have, like, an alarm to tell me that. Um, but that's just me. And then, um, I'm not really sure what this rise rate and fall rate are. Oh, I guess it tells you how rapidly you're you're rising because it says do you see right here it says like three milligrams per deciliter per minute so i guess this would tell you how how fast your blood sugar is rising or how fast your blood sugar is falling so that's interesting i actually didn't know that till now so um yeah that's as far as like so that's what you need to know for like alarms on the, the medtronic 630d and the dexcom app so I'm here to say that I don't have any boobers this week because I did not make any cringeworthy mistakes while I was filming. But, um, I, I guess this is a comedy section, so to speak. But I guess the word comedy section didn't sound as cool to me. So, but I didn't make any bloopers, so I guess this will have to, have to be a comedy section. Might as well roll with it. So, um, you might notice that I'm wearing a different color shirt. Um, <laughs> and that is because... I'm filming in two separate days, but I gotta reveal one of my YouTube secrets. So what I've done was pull, put on the same shirt and um, pretend it was in the same day. So that's a YouTube hack for you.